Hello everyone. It is midnight and Miss Emily and I <laughs> just got back from grocery shopping. And let me tell you something guys, this is some crazy stuff. Sorry if the lighting is bad and don't mind the teenager situation back there. This is crazy. So, I mean, obviously it's all over the news. There's no toilet paper, there's no sanitizer, things like that. I'm not worried about hand sanitizer. I have 20 bottles of Bath and Body Works soap, which some people, not naming any names, made fun of me for when I got that in December. I just bought it because it was on sale, but That's crazy, you guys. So, um, a friend of mine and I went grocery shopping tonight with our daughters. And we walked into Winco. And at first I thought, oh, we're okay, because that big wall, if you have a Winco, right when you walk in, there's like a big wall of stuff. I'm like, we're okay. And then we walked to the vegetable section, and it was like, there were no bananas. There was no potatoes. What else did you see that we commonly get? I didn't see any of the strawberries there. There was a lot of apples left and there was some other vegetables that we just picked up what there was. I had a list, you know, I was like, oh, I've got a list. Let's go in and get the list. There's no meal prepping, guys. It's, it's hard. There's no, you're going in there to get what you can get. There was no canned goods. There was no pasta. There was no pasta sauce. Um, there was no more tuna. And this was only at Winco, and I know at Walmart, too, they had the same situation. I mean, a lot of stores are having this situation. So then it was just a, we have to get what we can get. You can hear Maddie yelling at the dog. Sure. Sure. It was get what you can get, right? Mm -hmm. Like, my husband doesn't like the girls have ramen. Like, you know, because it's not a good, healthy it's thing. But we bought, good. we bought a box of it. They had it there. I said, get one. Just to have. Just to have, because you don't know. So yeah, we got that. And I just, I just tried to stock up on whatever I could find that we normally eat. So. <laughs> like you were preparing for the apocalypse. I, my husband, as soon as I was coming in, kind of got a little excited and said, are we doing a haul? Okay. And Maddie's yelling at the dog because she's jumping on the counter. Um. And I said, I am too tired. I'm just too tired. I couldn't do it. it you know, it's midnight. We went late because um, we saw on Facebook that people were like, oh, it's crazy at the Winco. Everybody's nice, but it's crazy. And so I was like, okay, let's just go later in the night. But then now they're capping it. They're not open 24-7 now. It's They closed from 12 a.m. to 5 p.m. So we had to go at a, you know, before 12 a.m., obviously. Um... There was no meat, like hamburger or chicken. Um, I had went to, so we have, we live in a small town and then um, outside of Boise, Idaho. And then, um, then there's other cities that are bigger. Um, so when I originally got off work, I went to the, we have an Albertsons in our little city. And I was able to get three pounds of hamburger meat, six chicken breasts, and then a package of chicken tenders which is okay. We have some meat in the freezer. So I, I just felt like I better get something like that. So I think, I think we're okay on meat. Um, so I wasn't too worried when I was at Winco. My friend, she has no meat. She has chicken. Is that what she said she has? Yeah. Oh, chicken. She wanted to get some beef. I did get two steaks just to have. Um, so they had that. And then what else was crazy? Like the freezer section. There was no frozen vegetables. I guess, God, I don't, what I don't understand is these people, everybody, they're, they're stocking up so much. It's like, I get that you should have a week or a month, maybe, of food, just in case. But it's like, these people have got to be coming with a couple of carts full. I just, I don't even understand. I can't even imagine somebody going in there just, like, I was like, I at least want to get a week's worth of food because 
you know, we need food. It's Friday night. It, we need food for drink. So then we went to another Albertsons because my friend was still, she has six kids. Or I mean, she has six people in her house. four kids, six people in her house. Hello. And so she wanted to make sure, obviously, you know, she had enough food and she didn't, we didn't get any canned goods. So sorry, guys. I said, let's go to the Albertsons up the road here. It's a bigger Albertsons because our Albertsons, I was telling her, was just empty. It was it's not empty, but it was. You didn't have anything. Yeah, there. I knew we would have a better luck, so we went to that Albertsons, and I was able to finally get potatoes. Everything was stocked, basically. Strawberries. For, they didn't have the, the meat papers. and the meat. Yeah, and meat. Yeah. Everything was stocked except that. Yeah. So, the baby wipes were in though, like. Yeah, there were baby wipes. I have a friend who posted about. There's no baby wipes. And that's just people are just taking crazy. Everything. Oh, I was in Winco and I was like, Wait, there's no ketchup. And, you know, I'm, I'm like picking up things like hamburger buns because we have hamburgers. I'm like, you know, you want to have a hamburger and want to have ketchup on it. And so I quickly got onto Amazon and I was able to order two bottles of ketchup. They're going to be delivered on Sunday, which I know I've seen the uh, Amazon Prime guy, but I also ended up ordering on Amazon Advil and Tylenol. Because there's nothing in feminine stores. products and I did I did order some paper towels so you can't order toilet paper either no unless you want to spend a lot of money so I the panic sets in when you walk into a grocery store and the, the stuff's empty it's very the weird and it's a little bit scary and you just, like, you don't really know what the hell's going to happen. Like, I can say that if we were locked down for in our house for two weeks, probably even maybe three, we could we'd probably be okay with food. We could do it. It's just, like, I don't know. I just, I'm, like, wondering, like, are these same people going to get paid next Friday and go out and buy more? Like, where are you going to, first of all, put all this stuff? Because I'm, like, my pantry's full. It's just, like... We shoved everything in there, and tomorrow the goal is to take everything out and reorganize it. And so, you know, it's bearable, and you can see. So, we've talked about not wasting and stuff like that, and just being careful about, you know, what we make and make sure that we eat leftovers. Because we're kind of one of those families who we don't really eat leftovers. We don't waste a lot of food, but we're just not, we don't make enough. Sometimes we don't make enough for leftovers, which is fine, which is great for four of us. But <clears throat> it's more or less like, you know, we're just going to eat what we have and we're going to get creative. I bought a cake mix. <laughs> I bought a cake mix and some frosting because I was like, well, hell. You might run over into May and we need to cook three birthdays. We're locked into the house. Or it's just like. Screw it. Let's have some cake, right? Like we're bored sitting. Yeah, there. that's what I was thinking. Because if you get locked in, I mean, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know if... You get locked not in. locked in. It's not... <laughs> I just say locked in just because it's like... If it's like everybody has to stay home and you're yeah. bored and you're just hanging out. You know, it's like, let's make a cake. You know, have something. So, yeah. So, it's been crazy. I'm not sure how lunches are going to go. I mean, I'll post what I can post. But it may be peanut butter and jelly every day. So, you know, that the idea is to get give you guys lunch ideas. And it's kind of hard to do that when we don't have all the resources to be creative. <laughs> right? And we're just going to stay alive. Stay alive. My household was like that. Were you? Mm -hmm. But we're happy, you know, like here. So, um, obviously, we live in Idaho. So, today's Friday, March 13th. Ew. Friday the 13th. 13th? 13th. I'm so tired, guys. Those but we just had one, one case. case confirmed. And so, yeah. Which, we, obviously, we knew it was going to come here. I mean, you can't avoid it coming here. It's everywhere else anyway. It was all around so, us. We were the yeah. only state in the West yesterday yeah. to not have a case reported. So. Yeah. So, now things are being canceled. Volleyball has been canceled Volleyball for three weeks. Volleyball has been canceled weeks, for three weeks. Which happens to be the three weeks left in our season so we're hopeful that maybe it'll be lifted after that and they can 
there's another session, I guess, that maybe they can do. Yeah. Um, softball is just starting. But we can only play teams in our area. Yeah, right now, I guess we're only going to play teams in our city, which is there's three. a total of three teams, including ours. So that kind of sucks because if you're into sports, it's just monotonous playing the same people. And it's just... Gets you don't, repetitive. yeah, it gets repetitive and you don't, the kids don't learn because they there's not, learn, yeah. you know, so, so yeah, there's that. I mean, I wouldn't care if they closed school for two weeks or three weeks. That wouldn't bother they me to have the kids have home. To do online. Like, yeah, but they're all... worried about, um, yeah, so. Because I'm just worried that if we get lot with, well, most people think that because spring break's coming up, we're going to get an extra week of spring break. That's which what I'm, I'm totally thinking. cool with Yeah, that. that's what I'm thinking. But, like, if we get, let's say it gets really bad and we have to miss two weeks of school, we can't just say, oh, two weeks of school, okay, whatever. We have to make that up in the summer. Yeah. And I don't want to, like, not have a summer, like, at all because I do stuff during the summer. So yeah. I don't, you know. So, I don't know. I really wish... I wish my parents were around. Both of my parents have passed away, so I just wonder how they would do with How them. well, like I just kind of wonder what they would think, because I'm sure they went through some some sort of situation back in the the olden days, and they could be like, "Oh yeah, I remember back." Uh, there was pro probably the deep depression, or I don't know. I the don't know flag. what. No. No, but they had things like the deep depression and stuff. And, I think it's not. Uh, we're just depressed. No, no, no. It's about all about financial stuff and. That only teaches yeah. them history. I'm sure that they might. Anyway. I'm in the 1800s right now. Um, in the 2000s. Well, no, the 19 1900s. Oh. That's your history lesson. <laughs> 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 so. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to make the best of this weekend. We're going to hang out with some family and just try to chill. Try to chill. What are you guys doing? Tell us down below. Um, what are you doing to prepare? If you guys are worried, panicked, or cool as a cucumber, you're going to go on with life. Like, I don't think, like, I don't think, like, they're going to shut the country down. Why would they show the country? Well, you like, know, you can't like, leave the country. yeah, or, or whatever. I just don't think Well, that, that's the whole point. Like, blame. things are not going to stop, but, it's I mean. It's people coming into the country and bringing it here. Yeah. Which, you know. That doesn't help. But it doesn't know. help, but it's it's not like those so people did it intentionally. Life, it's you not, know? yeah. So, you know, wash your hands. I wa As soon as I came in, I put some groceries away and, like, scrubbed yeah. my hands. Big on hand washing. My hands are dry now. And try not to touch your face. And I don't know if you've noticed this. Here I am. Touching my face. It's hard not to touch your face, isn't it? When somebody says, don't touch your face. And then, then you you're like, like, all of a sudden you have like an itch over here. Yeah. It's just all of a I sudden something yeah, like happening. We're home though. We're home. We're it's, gonna, a, it's a we're face touch zone. Face touch zone. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways. I have to live in hazmat suits. Yeah. I was talking to my friend about that. We're just gonna have to go to school in hazmat suits and face masks. Make face masks, yeah. So let's see. We just you gotta sneeze. Do you have the away? Do you have the corona away? No. Uh, <laughs> but what's weird is that like everybody well in my school at least, like we were all joking about it, but now since it's like here it's like it's not funny anymore. Like no, it's serious. It's not. Like, when it was just, like, in other countries, you know? I know this is terrible, but all kids do it, like... Well, when it... Yeah, because it's not here. Yeah. But once it gets here, it's like, oh, no, it's... Oh, no, It it's is here. real. It's yeah. real. It... And it's... Gives you a reality And you can check. see how fast it actually spread. You know what I mean? I mean, the amount of people that have it or had it isn't close to how many people we have in this country, but it's just crazy how fast it spreads, so... And you don't even know. You could have touched a grocery cart, even though we washed the grocery carts. Good. Oh, my God. I was in Albertsons, and I just kept wiping it oh. as I was standing there looking at stuff. I don't oh, know why. me and my friend ran back to the toilet paper to see if yeah. they had any, but they didn't. It they was had... like the day after Thanksgiving sale for Christmas, but it wasn't fun. Yeah. Like, I don't not Fun as in, oh, my gosh, look what I got. Fun is it, it wasn't. It was like, just get in there and find what we can get. So... Anyways, guys, 
uh, yeah, we just wanted to come on here and just tell our little experience about that. So, yeah, tell us down below. Save the toilet paper. Save your toilet paper. Tell us down below at one. Are you worked out? Are you worked out? Like, oh are, you wor gosh. are you working out? <laughs> are you working out <laughs> in this craziness? Uh, no, tell us um, if you're a little, you know, you're worried, you're cool as a cucumber, you know, or you're all stocked up or you haven't even bought any toilet paper and you're on your last roll. Sorry. Yeah. I keep touching my face. Ooh. I'm sorry. I just um, realized it was touching my face. And also, tell us down below what your quick meals are. Like, if you're if you're a mom like me, and you you need to like back in college days, ramen noodles. All you had, what did you throw together? I'll tell you what we had. We had. <laughs> I lived in an apartment with a couple girls, and we had hamburger meat and ramen. You put it together? I think we made hamburger patties and then we had the ramen noodles. You made home homemade hamburger helper? No, no, no. Like we had a hamburger patty. Okay. We ate that set and then we had the ramen noodles. You didn't did you have ketchup on it? Yeah, I think we had the condiments. You always have condiments. You just don't have the actual the bread. Yeah. So that's what we had. And we ate that for I think a week straight. It was like we were waiting for payday. <laughs> it was tough. But we made it out alive, just like we're going to make it out alive here. So, anyways, this is getting long. So, oh, it's okay. hope everybody's doing good. Hope and everybody's okay. Yeah, we'll check in. And we'll see about lunches. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens because there's not much we can do. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.